perhaps the most unexpected thing about Lovejoy's passage was that we saw it in the corona at all. This was only the second time we saw a sun-grazing comet produce a mission that was visible in uh, extreme ultraviolet wavelengths, wavelengths that we typically observe the sun at. One thing we noticed uh, very quickly is that the, the wiggles or the, the motion of, of Comet Lovejoy seemed to suggest that it was mediated by the invisible magnetic field of the sun. And so ionized plasma must flow along the magnetic field lines, and it seems that the tail plasma coming off of Lovejoy was becoming heated by the hot solar corona and then following the magnetic field of the corona. And this was very interesting to us as solar physicists who want to understand the corona. The magnetic field of the sun can produce space weather, and it what governs the solar wind that is continually flowing by the planets, including Earth. And so we have a sophisticated computer model that we use to try and understand the coronal magnetic field and plasma structure. And from this model, we took our magnetic field, and then we traced the local magnetic field along the orbit of the comet. And from this, and a simple physical model for how we think the, uh, the, the ions coming off, the plasma coming off of the tail should interact with the magnetic field, we were able to predict the motion of the, the cometary plasma.